Hey friends, it's Miss Christine from the Hoover Public Library. Welcome to Storytime. Today's Storytime is all about cookies. I'm going to tell you guys a fun story called The Doorbell Rang by Pat Hetchens, but first we are going to do the rhyme, Who Stole the Cookie from the Cookie Jar? Are you ready? I have some friends here and one of them did steal the cookie from the cookie jar. Could it have been Gorilla? Or maybe it was Chicken? Or maybe it was Rabbit? Or T-Rex? Huh. Or maybe it was Doggy? Let's do the rhyme and see, okay? So we're going to pat our lap like this and clap like this. And we're gonna do it in rhythm. Are you ready? We're gonna go like this. You got it? Good job. Okay, here we go. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Bunny stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Could it be? And who? Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Doggy stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Could it be? Then who? Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Chicken stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Could it be? Then who? Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Gorilla stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Could it be? Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? T-Rex stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. You bet it was. Om, nom, 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 nom. It was T-Rex. Oh, my goodness. Great job, friends. Thanks for helping me with who stole the cookie from the cookie jar. And now it's time for the story. I'm going to tell you the story, The Doorbell Rang by Pat Hutchins. Sam and Victoria loved their grandma's cookie recipe. She made the best chocolate chip cookies. They were ooey and gooey and chocolatey and chewy and just delicious. Well, one day Sam and Victoria were playing when all of a sudden they smelled something scrumptious. They ran into the kitchen and saw their mom making their grandma's chocolate chip cookie recipe. I thought you could have them for snack, said mom. Yay, said Sam and Victoria. As soon as the cookies came out of the oven, their mom handed them to them and said, okay, make sure you divide them up evenly and share. So Sam and Victoria took the cookies and they divided them up evenly between the two of them. Victoria got one, two, three, four, five, six cookies. And Sam got one, two, three, four, five, six cookies. Mm, these are gonna be delicious, said Sam and Victoria. They were just about to take a bite when all of a sudden they heard someone was at the door. They opened the door wide and there were their friends, Hannah and Tom from next door. Hannah and Tom said, we thought we smelled your grandma's cookies. Sam and Victoria said, of course, come on in. There's plenty to share. So they looked at the cookies and they decided to divide them up evenly. So Victoria kept one, two, three, and then she gave one, two, three to Hannah. Sam kept one, two, three, and he gave one, two, three to Tom. Now they all had the same number of cookies. Mmm, these smell so delicious, they said. They were all about to take a bite when all of a sudden they heard someone was at the door. When they opened the door wide, there were their friends, Peter and his little brother. We smelled your grandma's cookies, said Peter. Sam and Victoria said, come on in, we can share. So, Peter 
and his little brother, we'll put little brother down here, came to the table. Now, let's see. If Victoria keeps two and gives Peter's little brother one, hmm, and Hannah keeps two and gives Peter Peter's little brother one, now Hannah has two and Victoria has two and the little brother has two. So then if Tom keeps two and gives Peter one and then Sam has two, let's make sure, whoops, that this is even. So Victoria has one, two. Hannah has one, two. Tom has one, two. Sam has one, two. Peter has one, two. And his little brother has one, two. Oh, perfect, they said. These smell so delicious. They were all about to take a bite when all of a sudden they heard Oh, the doorbell rang again. When they opened the door wide, there were their friends, Simon and Joy, and their four cousins. Cousin number one, cousin number two, cousin number three, and cousin number four. Hmm, said Sam and Victoria. I think we can make this work. Let's see if everybody gets one cookie, I think we'll have enough. So there's one for cousin one, oh, cousin three, one for cousin four, one for Peter's little brother, hmm, one for Tom, one for cousin two, one for cousin one, and one for Joy. Let's make sure. Victoria has one, Simon has one, cousin three has one, Cousin four has one, little brother has one, Tom has one, cousin two has one, Hannah has one, cousin one has one, Joy has one, Sam has one, and Peter has one. Perfect, they said. These smell so delicious. They were all about to take a bite when all of a sudden they heard, oh no. They all looked at their cookies and realized they couldn't divide them up even anymore to make it even. Sam and Victoria's mom came in the kitchen and said, maybe you should eat the cookies real quick. No, said Victoria, that wouldn't be fair. So she opened the door wide and there stood Grandma with a whole tray of cookies. I thought you might want a delicious snack, said Grandma. Hooray, said everyone, and there were plenty of cookies for everyone to share. And that is the story, The Doorbell Ring by Pat Hutchins. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed story time today. I hope you have a chance to make some cookies and we'll see you again soon, okay? Bye.